Hey guys, it's the real Stoner here. And uh, first, before I really get into the topic of the video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background history on my trip in there and how we became the Alliance of Ohana. Um, within the first few weeks of small tribes, my tribe Pandora got teamed on by three tribes with only three people online, and we managed to su successfully defend and wipe two tribes. Um, that had attacked us, and we ended up uh, teaming up with the other tribe that attacked us, and uh, other bigger tribes on the server, and kind of just taking over the server, you know, not letting anybody team up on each other, and that led to, you know, eventually I wanted an Aberration server as well, because I wanted stuff from Aberration, so I went over there, and you know, I ran into a tribe who kind of had the same thing going on their server where they had teamed up against other people who were trying to team up on them and push them off the server and they let me come and build on their server in exchange I let them build on mine and you know everything was fine and then we started cross server raiding and me and my tribe went and to a server and you know started attacking them and we got teamed up on by three four different tribes and so we started, you know, taking other tribes from our server and attacking them and, you know, teaming up on their server, attacking, you know, other tribes that tend to team up on whenever we attract this tribe or, you know, attack this tribe or that tribe and, you know, everything was fine. And then I get, I talk with you know, Goldfish a little bit, and he asked me about Poseida, and I kind of just avoid it, because I went reading with Poseida, and I'm friends with Poseida, and, you know, I had to push it aside, you know, I'm not going to have anything to do with it. And then, I talked with him in a Discord call, where I did ask him to show me where holes are near my base, which was on the desert plateau, so that I could block out the outsides of them with the turret tower so that people who tried to get under my base couldn't and um, basically my old base had gotten sleeping bags put under the base and I don't know how to undermatch so I couldn't go down there and like destroy them or anything so I had to move my base location it was very convenient and I wanted to avoid this happening at all costs again and so, yes, I did ask him to show me where the holes were, but he offered to, you know, he wanted to join my tribe and show me how to build under the mesh and show me where I could build on a center map that was underneath the mesh. And I refused. I told him no, that I only let trusted people into my tribe and that, you know, I don't, I don't want to build under the mesh. I have no intentions on living under the mesh or under meshing someone else I just want to not get under meshed and um, I don't see a problem with that I don't see that a reason to be dead white um, and then he asked me about Wolfie and suggests that I kick him out of Ohana and whenever I tell him no he seems to get angry um, he threatens to auto decay my server and mesh me you can see it in the screenshots and this guy's just a snake, man. He, he, you know, he, he pretends like, you know, he just gives the news or whatever the fuck he does and that he's innocent and that, you know, he doesn't really do anything wrong and that whatever. But then, you know, I get dev wiped and I see the messages on PSN and I just kind of think it's like a joke or something until I log on and see that there's no beds. I had beds all over the map and there were no beds. And, you know, everything was gone, I didn't have any tames, and I saw tri blocks, and, uh, yeah, I, I first wondered why, I mean, I, I hadn't really done anything wrong, you know, I, I didn't think I'd get dev wiped for teaming, everybody teams on small traps, you know, the people that don't are probably already hit, you know, so, and then I get messaged with Goldfish, and he tells me that he had me dev wiped, and that he did it, basically that he did it, he had me dev wiped him and Doughboy so that they could attack my server and so that they could attack Wolfie 
who is on my server without us trying to help them defend. And he refers to this GM as Balor, and this GM Radios or GM3, he he seems to know who he is better than he says in his video. Um, you know, and you know, my other bases haven't been dev wiped. I have other bases on Aberration and other servers, and you know, they haven't been touched. And same with the other two tribes that got dev wiped. You know, and my theory is that this GM is doesn't care about undermashing or DDoS or cheating. He he, he seems to, you know, be teaming up with these guys and basically being dark side and if, you know, there's a GM that went from people for no reason, Wildcard Studios need to, you know, look into that and do something about it or take better precautions, give people a warning or something because this just isn't right, you know, but as far as Ohana goes, we will be building back up, we will be fighting back. But I need everybody's help to share this video around because if, you know, this is really what's going on, it, it something needs to be done about it. You know, I, I don't want to see other people get dev wiped and, you know, just be left in confusion of why did this happen, you know? Why can't people raid me legit? You think, uh, nobody has tried to pull up on me pretty much since. And, you know, since the three tribes pulled up and I've teamed up and, you know, it's it's just not fair, guys. Uh, something really needs to be fixed out here, man, and everybody needs to know that this goldfish guy is a fucking scum. He's as toxic as the other mashers and DDoSers that play this game, and it, something needs to be done. Um, but thanks for watching. If you made it this far in the video, please like and leave a comment telling me on your opinion and letting me know what you think and you know just uh if you haven't already subscribe hit that notification button all the supports uh really appreciated thanks again guys and enjoy the video and stay lifted